Welcome to part 5 where we'll learn how to animate the bricks. It's possible to continue adding features to the asset and you will create an automating build up animation for the bricks. This will involve adding more nodes to the network to make sure that the asset has the new functionality. Once the results are saved into the HDA file or the digital asset file, the features will be available for use by anyone using one of these assets in their work. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to start by hiding the squab object getting back focused on the first one and what we're going to do is double click uh, into here and then this one we need to unlock so we're going to go asset unlock asset brickify dive in and there we are now here we have let's call that uh, texture switch and so what we're going to do is so we're going to do a right click on here and we're going to go group by and we're going to go range. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're dealing at this point with points, just like we talked before. And so in this, we're going to change the name of the group to hide, hide points. The group type will be points. And the range type, we're going to go start and length. Okay. So the length, we're going to start at frame zero. And we're in length, we're going to go bracket dollar f, which is the frame, minus one, which takes it back one. And then we're going to multiply by 20. Okay. And we're going to go select one of one. So what that means is based on time, uh, you'll make a selection based on that. So if we're in this tool here, uh, the handle tool, and we do this, you see how it's growing. Selection is growing based on time because we use time as the deciding factor in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say, OK, let's put a tab blast node down. And we're going to put that right here. And we're going to put in there hide points. So if we go back to the copy to points, what you'll see is that as we move forward, it starts to delete points. There we go. Now, right now, what it's doing is it's taking points away. What we probably want to do with the blast is go delete non-selected. So what this means is it will start with no and it will grow the bricks as it goes. So we're doing the opposite of, of what was there before. Now right now the bricks are coming in from one side instead of from the ground. So let's go back to the texture switch node and we're going to right click out of here and we're going to pit, put down a sort tool. And we're going to place that right in the middle there. Now we're going to point sort, we're going to say a long vector and we're going to go 0 1 0 so they start from the bottom and they go up so if that works you'll see that now they're being grown from the bottom up so we're, we're able to control the essentially the point numbers so what you can do is you can build it up uh, this way like this now do you want to animate or do you not want to animate well this can be sorted out with another switch node. So we can put this over here. We can put a tab switch node and we're going to put it right here and we're going to feed the texture into there. Now this isn't in the right order. We'd like the texture uh, switch there to be. So by default at zero, this is not animating. And if you change it to one, then it will animate. Okay, so that's perfect. If we go in and we go uh, asset edit type properties brickify we can go to parameters and we can see the ones we've got so far what we want to do is take this switch node and we're going to drag that over here and if we want we can maybe put a we can put a separator just in between there it's just uh, you'll see that in the ui when we do it so we have this select input which is from there and what we want to do is we want to call this 
animate bricks, animate bricks, and we're going to change its type to a toggle. So that way we just get a checkbox whether we want to animate or, or don't want to animate. And we want to set the channels, make sure the default is zero, and click apply. Now the other thing we want to do is let's just go over here and get an integer value and we're going to put this at the bottom. And this one we're going to call build speed. So to get the speed, we had multiply. Oh, uh, speed. We had multiplied by twenty. But what we want to do is we want to control that a little better. So we're going to set this range option, and we're going to go one to twenty, and we're going to put a lock next to one, so you can't go any lower than that, but you will be able to go higher than 20 if you want. And let's go to the channels and set the default value to 10. And we're going to press accept. Now right now that other channel isn't connected anything, so if we go up to here, we've got, if we turn on animated bricks, uh, it'll animate. Uh, but use it, but we don't. This speed is not taking into account. Uh, let's turn that off for now. Dive into here, and we're going to go to. Okay, so now that we're down here, what we want to do is we want to do, we want to take that and multiply it by, ch, and then we're going to go. Go on. Dot dot slash. And you'll see that it's offering us things. So we're going to do anim, uh, not animate bricks, build speed. And then you go quote bracket. Okay. So now to save that, we go, okay, so we take this brick asset, asset, save asset, brickify. Okay, so now that we do that, if we turn on the animate bricks, it's going at a certain speed. If we bring that down to here, you'll see that it's now going a slower speed. Actually, it's not going very far. And if we want to change this to, let's say, 30, uh, it's going to go much, much faster. So we've now created some new functionality on this asset that allows us to turn on animation and set the speed of that animation. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. So now that we have that, we can, of course, again, with this asset, we can go asset, lock asset, uh, brickify, uh, save the changes in case, uh, and this is now something where I can't go in and touch that anymore. It's, it's all set up, ready to go. Now, the other thing that's sort of fun about this is if we go back to the object level and we go down into the squab, let's um, turn on the squab there. We go down here and we click on the Brickify here. Let's bring this over. Uh, we can animate the bricks here as well. So, but there's a lot more bricks, so we definitely need more speed here. Let's put 50. And now we can have that grow very quickly. Or maybe we only need 40. Or uh, 30, let's try 30. And there we go. So we're gonna see that whole thing build up from there. So that functionality that we built into the asset that we had attached to the squab, that functionality is now being transferred uh, into this asset because the digital asset lives on disk and both these nodes are pulling the definition of that asset from disk to create the, the look and the feel that we want here. So that's pretty exciting there.